plotting uh, the graph on a graph book or the, or the square books and they say uh, all the graph books square which represents 0.1 meters so when you're drawing such your square books you can just measure one centimeter as it appears on the ruler on your lines on your graphs it will give you the same answer as for that person who use uh, so this space here this space from zero up to one from zero up to one when you draw this ruler on your square books or your rule books it, it is the same as uh, that uh, 10 small squares in your graph books. That is the reason uh, I was telling you uh, you can uh, you should have a ruler to go have a graph book so that will assist you such. From here from zero up to one, it's same as uh, the 10 small squares in your graph book. One small square in your graph book it is the same as 0.1 over centimeter. This is the graph. This is the graph. Uh, you have the x axis, the y axis. Remember to label your axis. Plot your points. Plot your points. This equation. So this equation, uh, talked of this uh, as being a linear equation, uh, a la a graph, it will give you a straight line. And then also what you are looking at uh, on Monday, basically it is an equation of a straight line, and it can be written in the form of y is equal to mx plus is equal to mx plus c to calculate we also try to calculate we also try to calculate project of such a line it is the same as the one uh, in the equation i taught you how to calculate uh, the gradient i taught you how to calculate the gradient just basically the same. Calculate the gradient. What you did last time, take the change. If it is for the x values, uh, and you are writing the x and the y values, the x and the y values, allow me to open. When we are calculating the gradient of an equation, we see that the gradient is uh, given a, a, a linear equation can be, written, uh, can be written in the form of y equal to mx. And we saw that the m, this m represents the gradient, what we call the slope. Called the slope, and then the C, then Y, and that's it. The Y intersect. And in calculating the gradient, gradient uh, we talked of change in Y, we talked of change in Y. And divide that by the change in x. 
This is what uh, we looked at. So that is how it should be done. This equation, y equal to 5 minus 2x, 5 minus 2x is negative 2, negative 2. Basically, it is this m here, is that m, which is negative 2. Take note of that sign. But if you want to uh, really see if the gradient is negative 2, just take two values. Just take two. Maybe you can pick that. When x is 2, y is 9. And when x is 1, y is 7. So the change in x, the change in x is 9 minus 7. That will give you a positive 2. And the change in x is negative 2. And then minus minus one so that will give you negative one so it will be two you divide by negative one and it will give you a negative two you can see that uh, uh, this equation it gives you the actual grid of that equation the values here values here values here give you the gradient of that is what we looked at say this is a graph plot the graph pick the point to the next point Move to the next point. Uh, negative one and seven. Uh, I say that uh, you may not necessarily use all these points, all these points in drawing your graph. It is a, if it is a graph of a straight line, it is not necessary that uh, you put marks. You put marks on uh, of your graph. Maybe here you have a negative one negative one and a positive seven so here for the x is negative one one and y is positive seven so that mark should appear here maybe a star that will assist you in plotting the graph sorry uh, maybe, uh, to put all these points but if you choose to it's okay uh, you can just take one point here your graph, map it on your graph that is negative 2 and positive 9. Then take another point, maybe the last one. When x is 3, y is negative 1. x here is 3, and then y is negative 1. Uh, it will be this point. You can pick any two points, any two points, because the, that will assist you your graph. That will assist you in plotting the graph. You have taken these two points, equation of a straight line, you join these two points using a ruler to give you a straight line. Again, you can choose to use two points or you can use all the points. It all depends on you. And also remember to label your lines. Remember to label them mark for that but for easy understanding uh, what what because you may find graphs with more than one line and more than one curve so that is used to distinguish between those curves less the curve but uh, that curve for the curve, it is necessary for you to plot or to have that will assist you uh, training and joining the points and training the points because uh, joining the points using 
a smooth, a smooth curve. Such equations are where you have x squared minus 2x squared. Quadratic equation where you have polynomials, such a, such curves, or, oh, sorry, such a, such equations, when you are putting them in graphs, you should uh, join the points uh, using curve. You should not use a ruler. The polynomials, you should use a smooth curve. So from there, you plot, plot that uh, curve. And, uh, and also remember your curve. Label your curve. To insist that. Label your curves. Then from there, you'll find that this curve, y equal x squared minus 2x plus 1, they will meet at some point with this line. With that line, y equal 5 minus 2x. And the points that they meet, the points that they meet, that gives the solution, that gives the solution to uh, those the solution to those equations. Have an explanation on that. The points where uh, y equal to five minus two x in the curve y equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 intercept give the solution a simultaneous equation. So the answers to that simultaneous equation are the points negative 2 and 9 2 and 1. And when you put this into your equation, uh, give you the answers to that. So that is how we go about it. Then a question up to that point. Yes? Sure. Go on, Nakuskia. Wapi hapo? Unakatika, unakatika. Where exactly? If nezarudi ya paaje. Yeah. O hapo kwa roots. Kwa roots. Roots. Nimemalizia. Yeah. Yeah. Hapo, hapo kwa mse. Ipati nimemalizia. Okay, I was saying where the line, where this line, uh, y equal to, okay, 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 where this line, y equal to 5 minus 2x, where this line, y equal to 5 minus 2x, intercept y equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1, which gives you the solutions to this simultaneous equation. This equation, uh, as you were doing earlier, uh, we found out that simultaneous equations, you must, uh, you must find for the values of x and y. You must solve for the values of x and y. So here, this point, and at this point, where these two lines meet, those are the answers to your, to these equations, these equations. This point, this point, the value for x is 2, and the value for y is 1. The value for x is 2, and the value for y is 1. And when you put that back into your equation, into your equation, just to confirm, these two values are equal. We are saying the value of uh, is 1 and the value of x is 2. We have a y, we have a y equal 1, when you put x hapa equal 2, we find that uh, this left hand side will be equal to that.
that right hand side. So this other part, this other part it is negative 2, y is 9. You can do the same. Look at negative 2, yako. your 9 here, and here you have your negative 2. Try to find if these two values are equal to the, line, to the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. If you find that they are equal because uh, y as 9 is equal to 5 minus 2. And then for your x, you have negative 2. A negative 2 multiplied by another negative 2, it will give you a positive 4. So 5 plus 4, it will give you 9. So you find that your yeah, left hand side equal. Same as if you put them on this equation, you find that the answers will give you the same. For the left hand side, it will be equal to the right hand side. So, uh, such such equation, you have two solutions for your x and y. For your x, that's it. And again, you saw that uh, when you're dealing with the quadratic functions, you find that you get yourself having These two values, two and nine, and then another two and one. Is there any question before we move to the next one? And continue. So given uh, such an equation such an equation. I think we did this. Uh, so you are given uh, such equations. When you see such, uh, it should tell you uh, your graph two lines because linear equations. So your graph will have two lines. And they, must, and they must intersect somewhere. They must intersect somewhere. And the first one, the first one, a range of values, take a range of values that will assist you in plotting the graph. For me, I took from negative two up to, but I chose not to include the values uh, three, Four and five. I'll give later. For your x value, uh, put uh, this x. Have that x. Have that x. Moment. Here, I mentioned something about the y intercept. Why let me take this back? Uh, so T is the y intercept. And we say that this M and this C are constants. Say the M the gradient, this C the y intercept. So C represents the y intercept. When you plot your graph, you plot your graph, uh, you find that the y intercept is fine. That means. This line should pass through the point five, pass the point five on the y axis. And when you plot your graph, uh, find that that line it will pass through that point on uh, the y intercept. The y intercept. That line uh, should cut uh, the y axis at that point to five cut the y-axis that point. So that is what we call the y-intercept. For those of you who drew the graphs, maybe uh, on our last class, uh, we found that that on this we say, uh, take this negative 2, put it in the equation. And here you have a negative 6, have a negative 6, Side so that you can calculate for the value of one. So it, this will give you negative six 
positive 6. This other side will give you a positive 6. Malimu na potea. Such an equation. I've said the y intercept here is 5. That is what we looked at uh, last time. That last time that this c is the y intercept. So here we find that the y intercept in the equation here is 5. When you draw your graph, you find that this line should pass to pass through this point 5 axis. That is this point here. The graph here at this point, the y intercept, basically the point of the y axis. So your graph, your line, and cut across the y axis at that point. Came to this uh, this question here. We were given such a question, and they told you to, uh, to plot the graph and the, and the equations. Again, I say you should you should draw uh, this uh, this line on the same graph. Range of values, pick a range of values, and then what you did earlier in example, what you do to the same here, because you do for value y. So here for the x, uh, plug in your x value there, plug in your x value there, and then solve for the value of y. A negative one. You do the same here. For the value of x, plug the value of x into your equation, and then solve for the corresponding value of y, which will give you a negative 3.5. Do the same for the zero. Plug it in on equation there. And solve for the resulting value of y a negative two. And you continue and you continue continue doing the same for the rest of your x values to find the corresponding value of and I will say that uh, this equation when you have such an equation when you're looking for the x and y values of values that you, uh, that you should work with, as we will see later, if you are not given the range of values that, that you will work with, use only two values. You can choose to use only two values. That's quite okay. If you are not given, given uh, a range of values. So here you can just choose to work with negative two and negative one. That is to plot the graph. You can just use uh, two values. Then here, go to the second equation: five x minus two y equals zero. Range of values, and some range of, of values, so that you can uh, find the corresponding y that will assist you in drawing the graph. When x is negative two. And then solve for the corresponding value of y. Five. When x is zero, plug that zero back into the equation. So it will be five times zero, that is zero. Two y equal to zero. So y that will be zero of positive two 
you find that your corresponding value of y is positive y. From there, you can draw your graph. You're not given a range of values. You can just uh, choose to use two values. Are quite enough for you to plot a graph. Plot the graph. Plot the graph. Get have such have such a graph. Again, I said you only need two points. But if you have two points, maybe your first point is this. It's this. If you are only using two points, if your first point is uh, this point, and then your second point is this point, make sure your graph uh, or your line cuts across the entire graph. That is, uh, if I choose to explain it slightly, this line, the line here, repeated. You see, the line is a token to talk a half this point. Let it not reach this point. Make it long enough to cut across on your whole uh, Asian plane. Let it go from uh, the top here up to this bottom part because you don't know, you don't really know where the second line will intersect with the first line. Maybe set at this point. Maybe it may intersect at this point, but your graph only reached this point. So you find yourself having a hard time. So let it be long enough to cut across uh, uh, the shared plane. So you do the same. x minus 2y equal to 0 uh, is the line uh, which I've labeled it. That is the line. Then you have the other one, 3x minus 2y equal to 4. Uh, I plotted them uh, using these values. Plotted them using these values. We have here. In the points where these two lines intersect, they intersect at this point. This is 2. X is 2. Y is 5. Negative 5 x is 2, y is negative 5, we intersected at that point. So the solution shows that negative 2 and 5. The x is negative 2, and y is 5. To work out uh, this, uh, this simultaneous equation, using the substitution method or the elimination method, we find that your answers negative 2 and positive 5. To positive value. Any question up to that point? Excuse me, Malim. Uh, what is the difference between this graph and Azure to define your Azure? It's just the same thing. It's the same thing. And it will be quite funny. But uh, maybe say to me, I'm going to go to my funny. They probably want to move fast. I don't think come out to the court in the final. Uh, what you are what you are covered to what I thought you are to cover today, I found out that uh is a maswali I'm busy that you are connect. Is a maswali I'm busy that you are connect for internal. So I just chose to skip on that point. Curves, parabolic curves. Uh, so I just chose to skip on that. The parabolic curves. Basically, you have a curve here. There's a procedure to draw the curve. There's a procedure to draw the curve. What we have is a, a curve, an equation. You are given an equation. equation. Uh, you are told to plot a parabolic curve and such a curve that the first step is basically to find the intercept maybe is to use that is how I will work it out uh, is to use a step step slope or something like that basically this step slope this step forward movement 
I use the values 1, 3, 5, and 7 value. For example, the value of uh, here you have the value of that B. If I choose to explain you, you, yes. There's a on your graph here. E, 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 e. This one. E, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So that is the reason why uh, I didn't uh, teach those parabolic curves. Basically, I'm using the Choyo connect. However, uh, let me just please mute your yeah, mic. For Solomon Mojavelu, for both of you, uh, mute your mic. This is the reason why I chose just to repeat this because if you are, you are supposed to cover this today, you are supposed to cover the parabolic curves and then solving, uh, solving simultaneous and linear equations using graphs. We are supposed to cover both of them today, but I found out that uh, it's a mozi to a parabolic curves. So that is the reason why I chose not to build on those parabolic curves. I didn't dwell on them. I'm going to use my swally connect. I'm that you are most likely to find when you're doing your neck. Is there any other question? I wanted uh, maybe uh, to finish up as a Malizanai time I talk about the matrices matrices because about them now before we continue uh, from the questions yes, that we, yes uh what is the graph uh kazila za zila za mbele tulikuwa tunasema it may be a graph the x axis at two distinct uh, points then tunasema the equation has a uh, two distinct point easy to tafanya hivyo Easy of funny evil, is as natural of the funny evil, Zilikua graph. It was only you apply only on a graph and you gonna have moja pekiake. Gonna have moja pekiake. Basically, it was one quadratic function. You look at two one quadratic function. You look at it, you moja pekiake. I go a combination of. Uh, equal combination of two equations. It was not a combination of two equations. So take note of that. It was not a combination of two equations. It was just equation. Equal equation moja. So there is a big difference between the two. Okay, we equations really. Okay, equations really. Then uh, these two equations. Uh, these two. Yeah, those two. If it is for the line and the curve, the point where those two intersect turns to your equations. But when you are given uh, one equation, then it is the point where maybe if it is this equation, then it is the point where uh, that curve intersects with. Circular in the polynomial we were before, uh, that is how you apply it. If it was for this curve coming a curve like without this line y equal to 5x minus 2x, then the solutions to this curve, the solution to that curve will be uh, 1 for the x value in the power 1, the solution to that, because it intersects with the x axis at this point, 1, so that will be the solution. 
on that. Uh, you have two equations, you have that and that. So the solution to these two equations is where the line and the curve will be those two points. Remember, whoever has asked that question, I hope my level. So, so. Yes. Good morning, Mr. Eric. Uh, good morning. Now, my, my question is that to, to whoever yes, asked that yes. question prior, yes, yes, uh, is that uh, they should take note of uh, the difference between a linear equation and a quadratic equation. Yes, like quadratic right. equations will always give us uh, a curve. Yes. Equation will always give us a straight line. Yes. So if yes. if you move up to where we are having, we are having y is equals to x squared minus two x plus one. Yes. So from our previous knowledge, you will know that x squared minus two x plus one quadratic equation. Yes. So if you see that in any, just know it will give us a curve. Yes, that's very true. But when you see y. The other one was y is equals to 5 minus 2x. If you rearrange that, yes. let's say you, you make it y is equals to negative 2x plus 5, you, it will have taken the form of y is equals to mx plus c, uh, and it means that uh, that is a yes. equation, so it will give us a straight line. Right. So be, before yeah. before you answer any question, let's say if it comes in an exam, just look at the expressions given. Then if the expressions is expression and a linear expression, then you'll know we'll have a curve, straight line. So we'll have two points meeting. Yes, yes, that's very true. Therefore, we'll get a root, two roots. Yes, yes, but yes, the, yes. in a situation whereby, like like the other one, just move down, kindly, Eric, just move down. Uh, in this one, this one, yeah, we are having two linear. Just zoom in, zoom in. It's quite far. Two linear equations, two linear equations, and that is why they are only crossing at one point. They are two straight line crossing at one point. That's very true. So whoever, whoever, the student was asking about why is it that is cutting uh, twice and this one is cutting once. It's because these are two linear equations. So two linear equation, they will cross something that looks like an X. So where they meet, where two straight lines meet, looking for. But when it's a, it's a quadratic equation and a linear equation, it means it will cut at two points. The straight line will cut the curve at two points. What we will yes. get is the root. Very true. Yeah, that is all that I have. Thank you, Molimo. Okay, okay, that's true. Whatever, whatever you have been told, uh, that is done. And that is how it's always done. Correct and touch. And touch. I think we can move on forward. We can move on forward. It's the same as the previous one, as the previous one. So we can choose to skip on that. Before I forget, uh, I was talking about question and the question that I gave you, and the question that I gave you. Just take note on how you arrange, or rather how you interpret the formation. Uh, when given such a word problem involving matrices, basically the application of matrices, the word problem, uh, take note on how you convert that problem, that textual data into a matrix. You convert it the wrong way, or if you write it uh, the wrong way in form of a matrix, it will give you an incorrect answer. Also, take note given on your question. Uh, carefully, and then have the interpretation from that. But, uh, some of the students, maybe, let me say most of the students are not interpreting that question correctly. 
uh, because you um, the dozen basically you'll find that your one dozen it represents 12 items so you're giving me your answer without multiplying each 12 each item 12 or your final answer the final answer you should have multiplied it by 12 to you the correct answer uh, most of you are forming the matrix that was okay forming the matrix that, uh, that was okay uh, that was also okay but some of you are not multiplying the matrix correctly uh, you far, most of you had uh, they had the answers as 75 25 7200 you should have multiplied by 12 uh, is equal to 12 probably let's say 12 items so that answer 75 25 7200 8825 you should have multiplied that by 12 uh, your final answer is 90,386 400 for student B and for student C so take note on how you interpret the question given and read uh, the question carefully so that you may not miss any mark on that for my awarding of marks, I was giving uh, each answer uh, one mark. So the final answer was three marks. Forming the matrix, that was one mark. And finding the answer to that matrix, that matrix multiplication, was another mark. If you multiplied it by 12, uh, that is where it was coming in. So that's how I chose the one, my marks, in that question. So just think your matrix multiplication. Look at the notes again, and then be able to work out these problems. Uh, well, so with that you can continue. You can continue here. Have plot the graph. Have a question. Plot the graph of x squared minus three x minus 10 equal to 0 or negative 5 less than x less than 7 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 7 x squared minus 3x minus 10 equal to 8 uh, I have given you this question those in 4 and 5 I think gave you this question or maybe I explained on it which is not working it out. So a question uh, which uh, which was in the next exam, it was in the next exam, I think 2018, if I'm not wrong. So when you're given such uh, such a question, equation x squared minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0, or negative 5 less than x less than 7, and solve the equation that Basically, uh, this negative 5 is less than 7. This represents the range, or this is what is called the range. The range of values table, I think uh, we all agree that uh, when you are plotting a graph, you should have that table so that uh, you can find your x and y values. Okay. The x value has negative 5, it's extreme left. And the negative is seven. That is based on uh, those two, those two symbols. And when you talk of x less than or equal five, uh, this uh, this uh, this value of x uh, should be negative five. Negative five. Negative five. For the x value uh, is the less or equal to 4. You cannot start with negative 4. You cannot start with negative 4 because of the two side, because of the equal to sign. So here we should start with. And then for this other part, we have that. But we have x is less than or equal to 7. 
the string positive value should be uh, seven. So take note of those signs, take note of those signs. And I believe uh, this also, we did this also in high school. You can try remembering what you did and then maybe did that with that. Uh, talked of this, converting this quadratic equation into the form of y equal to x squared minus 3x minus 10. This quadratic function, uh, it is just having in that part and then having yeah. one equal to this on the left side yes so we write it as that we have y equal to uh, x squared minus 3x minus 10. from there because you have a range of values we have been given we have been given negative 5 up to positive seven so here it is a must we use this range of values it is a must uh, given such given such a range you don't come up with your own range of values you use what you have been given uh, what the question is asking you to do so you must use negative five up to positive seven you must uh, have that range of values uh, with that so we have x negative five negative four negative three two one forward up to uh, up to positive seven find the values of y the corresponding values of y if x is five plug your x value into the equation so this will be at minus three into negative five minus ten and when you do that you find that your corresponding y value positive 30, negative 4, plug it in into the equation there, so it will be negative 4 squared minus 3 into negative 4 minus 10, you get 18. The other values, do the same for the other values, if it is positive 7, of positive 7, there, so it will be 7 squared minus 3 into x, you say is 7, then minus 10, you get my value as 18. I believe we are all, uh, we all understand how this works, from what uh, we have been taught, we understand how that works. 18 in the equation to find the corresponding value. From there, not a curve for that equation. equation. The curve uh, takes this form. The curve is this form. Of that, of that. And here, uh, before I was saying before uh, the questions, uh, the examples you have looked at before, I was saying that you can use two points for a line, but for a curve, you find uh, that for you to use all points so that you can be able to join all the curves well, a smooth curve. You don't uh, join these points using a ruler for the curve. You join them using smooth. Find yourself having such curve. And here you must show all your points as given uh, on that table because you have been given the range there. So plot all the points plot on that curve. When you join them. You find yourself having such a curve to always remember label your curve. Then from there, you're being told to uh, hand solve the equation of this line. Yeah, I'm going to first solve the equation of uh, that, that x squared minus 3x is equal to 8. I'm told to solve that equation, try to solve that equation. How you do this? It's basic here. We have said that y equal to squared minus 3x minus 10. Find that this part is the same as that part. 
So it is correct to say that y, it is correct to say that y is equal to h. Y is equal to h because this these are the same. It is correct to say that y is equal to h. y is equal to h. So now you plot a line, you plot a line of y is equal to h. To solve this, to solve this. Ah, the best way is to do it graphically because you are plotting a graph. A graph, I will draw a line of uh, y is equal to h, y is equal to h. Basically, y is equal to h. That is the line uh, which cuts across this x uh, axis. Uh, sorry, this y axis. Because this x axis, this x axis is zero x-axis is the line y is equal to zero and the y-axis is the line x is equal to zero it's equal to h it is this line this line here that is what we yeah that is what uh, y is equal to h is so anyway, when you're told to solve the equation x squared minus 3x minus h it will be the point where this line this curve cuts across uh, this curve or where set with this curve that you'll have two solutions have two solutions b x is three and y is is three y is h the second solution will be and y is h basically an explanation to that is given here to uh, y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 10 has been drawn is that curve moment i repeat y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 10 but we want to solve we want to solve uh, this because we are we are being told solve this equation here x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 8 comparing the two you'll get that y is equal to 8 that is what i was explaining here y is equal to x squared minus 10 y is equal to that value this value here it is the same as it is the same as this value here this value here so that means this y you can replace it with this equation you can replace this y in this equation for you to get y is equal to h or that is where uh, y is equal to h kenneth kenneth uh, yeah yeah and here, y equal to h in a talker. Excuse me. Yes. That that means you are subtracting that thing. Yes. Basically, that is the explanation to that. Actually, that is the correct explanation. Uh, we can we can uh, we can do it that way. Uh, very good. Uh, that reminds me. I was moving too fast, basically, how I'll do it. So that means uh, you have y equal to x squared minus 3x minus 10. That is the correct explanation. Have this point there. Take this the way it is. For easy understanding. Take this the way it is. Put it in maybe somewhere there. Or maybe I can write it. Let me write it for you. For you. Equal to have y equal to x squared of x squared minus three x minus ten. And we also have this other one. We also have that. So that means. 
here from half eight. Let's just interchange the sides. Let's interchange the sides, but the signs will not interchange. It we like yeah, we just interchange e eight to the to the left hand side, and then this equation to go to the right hand side. That is what I'm talking about. So here we have eight equal to x squared equal to x squared. That's three x minus here we have just interchanged the sides. Eight we could just say the gene x go goes to the other side. Basically the signs would change to interchange to uh, the numbers. This in order for this moment let's have that link there to work this out when I put this equation part the easy equation this x squared minus 3x minus 10 you can you can subtract uh, both sides subtract both sides in order to look at quadratic Substitution elimination. Elimination. If you want to do away with this part, just subtract. Subtract the first equation. Subtract the first equation and the second equation. This will result to this will result to y minus eight. We have y minus eight on the left hand side. And on this right hand side, you find that x minus x that will give you a zero minus minus three x that you that is minus three x plus three x that will give you a zero plus ten minus minus ten it will also give you a zero so the right the right hand side will evaluate to a zero but you want the value of y the value of y this eight you take it to the right hand side so this will give you a positive eight. So that is how we come up with this y in simpler terms. In simpler terms, maybe a step by step, uh, a step by step procedure. That is how you come up with y minus h. Now you can just go directly to the question. So that is how you come up with uh, the y equal to eight. Uh, for John, for John and Hiram, uh, will we'll see that uh, maybe in our next example what you are asking of uh, we'll see that in our next example you may be given a situation where this uh, this value here is not really eight you may be given a situation where that value maybe instead of eight you have something like x squared plus two like that we we'll look that we we'll look at that uh, in our next example in our next example I think I have an example of that. Come to how we uh, how we find this y is equal to eight. Yes. Yes. This y equal to eight. That is how you do it. That is how you do it. This y on what into eight. Again, I've said uh, from your from your graph. The x axis we call y is equal to zero. When you are to write this x axis in form of in form of y or that's like y, the x axis is the line y equal to zero. X axis. This is the x axis. 
x axis is the line y equal to zero. So the line y is equal to eight. Uh, your eight equal and then draw a yeah. So this is the line y equal to zero, the x axis here, y equal to zero. And then you move up up to uh, that point where y is equal to eight. At that point where y is equal to eight intersects with the curve, intersects with that curve. Basically, I think I wrote this uh, the wrong way. This is supposed to be y is equal to x squared minus three x minus ten. This way. So the, the at the point where this line y is equal to 8 that curve is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 10 solutions to our answer the solution x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 8 and we all know uh, from uh, quadratic equation when you're given a quadratic equation uh, we find ourselves having uh, two values of x two values of x either you use completing the square method you use factorization you use uh, the quadratic formula you find yourself having two values of x so here you read the values of x intercept here you have negative three in the value of uh, and the other value of x, uh, so those are the solutions to that uh, that equation. And when you choose to do this equation using any method, put it in your factorization, use completing the square, use the quadratic formula, uh, that equation, this equation gives you uh, that answer, gives you these answers. It's supposed to be y. This is supposed to be x. The upper is supposed to be x. x is equal to 6. Cha, I have a question. question. Yes. 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 Um, yes, there. Okay. Yes, uh, no, assuming, assuming, yes. uh, Yes. Um, hence solve the equation. Assuming now that equation is not the same as this one for y is equals to x squared minus 3x minus 10. The equation in a fact are the same. I don't think uh, there will be a situation where, whereby it will be given a different equation. I've not seen such a question. So there will be any, any equation uh, like that, that uh, this uh, will be different from this will be different. I don't think you'll be given such a situation. All the time that I've done uh, maybe mathematics, I've not uh, encountered such. So I don't think uh, that you may be given an equation. Basically, this e part upper it banana and this other part. But upper when you eight, uh, you might find that e e part is a But this part should be the same M for this uh, for over. with this part really was a kupata the value of y if it is not the same be hard enough for you to do it so then you come up with a solid camera here but again as i'm saying uh, this part is what will change this other part will remain the same That's all. yes yes but mwalimu si kuna equations zingine zenye ukifanya ukichukua hiyo equation ya pili minus from hiyo equation ya kwanza unapata kitu kama linear equation then unachora kitu hey. kama straight line yes sir hapo ndio nataka kukuja sasa hii that is there i want oh. to get sawa so. any other question okay we can move to that part we can move to such an equation hmm. Malima, I have yes. a question. Malima, you have a question. Yes, I have a question. Yes. This is x, 
x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equals to wait where is it your graph kwa graph alafu tafuta y it is possible Ile, when x is this y is equals to b i'm not sure that the correct answer i've not tried it in that uh, in that perspective maybe when we have a jaribu and then when i come to prepare the same answer but how i've done it uh, that is uh, the way it's supposed to be done here you have to find uh, uh, the second value uh, of y yeah y is equal to h that is how it's supposed to be done but for you you can try maybe plotting this graph of that equation you see if it will give you the same answer as that but if you try to do that, but yeah, a curve, it will give you a curve because that uh, that is a quadratic equation. That is a quadratic equation. And when you plot that, it will give you a curve. It will not give you, give you the same answer. So that is the reason. This is a quadratic equation. Give you a curve. So upon your machine data to care. But you can try to see if uh, those two curves will intersect at these two points. I highly doubt uh, that that may be the case, but as, again, you can try. Because this is this is a quadratic equation, and that will give you a curve. A quadratic equation, when you plot it in a graph, that is most definitely a curve. As we have seen here, if we have a quadratic equation, you may put a curve. Yeah, this will also give you a curve. So to avoid that, you can just do it the way I've shown you the value of y is equal to h that is the correct way uh, that question should be done Malimo, <coughs> uh, i hope charles can hear me i think yendan will use your swally <coughs> yeah. uh I'm not asking I, yes. I want to attempt i want to attempt in okay. answering this question uh charles i don't think it's possible to plot that graph the way it is x squared minus 3 x minus 10 is equals to 8 because if you're going to use a graph you're going to use things that are called axes the y axis yes. and the x axis so as a, to keep plot your graph the way it is you only have x well of y you see it is quite impossible yeah we we can't plot the way it is you must have a y axis and in this case like Molimo has used, the first one is a quadratic equation that is equated to zero, to zero with a y, so that that equation can be it can be complete. Y is equals to x squared minus three x. But the second yes. one, we have been given the value of y. The value of it that it is not written y; it is written eight. But that eight is the value of y. So you will say y is equals to eight. Then you plot that. Graph. Yes. Thank you, Walimo. So that's the explanation to that. Uh, we can try sorry you. Connect spot. So the next equation, I'll be try and I'll try I'll be answering I'll be, I'll be answering and here are uh, the questions that you have asked on the comment. Uh, that is what I'll be answering. These questions using these questions. Uh, let's take for example uh, the first one. Uh, let's take this example. Uh, this is basically. Uh, question parts so when you're given these three uh, your graph should have also so your graph you have one curve you have oh, sorry you should plot a graph for that you should plot a graph for that that this other one so you'll have maybe three you'll have four yeah you'll have plotted the uh, four curves in your we are graph, but you'll see if they are lines or they are curves. So the first step here, we are not given the range. 
choose uh, to work with any range you want. You can choose to work with any range you want. So the first step here, uh, that curve, to draw that curve. Ah, I'm only in this. Yes. Hello, Willie. Yes. Let's imagine. Okay. Uh, you must draw that curve. You must draw that curve. That is the first step. Y is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 1. That curve. So here you pick a range of values. For me, I chose to work uh, with negative 5 up to positive 2. Negative 5 up to positive 2. And the range. Uh, uh, don't, go, don't go to extreme ends uh, in this range of values. So in this degree, negative 100, negative 50, then positive 150, that graph. I use it to shape on graph paper. Scale it, uh, to scale it down, uh, you'll find that your points is it up was in the Caribbean sana. The graph may be so small. So pick uh, a reasonable of these values. So here I chose to work with negative 5 up to positive 2. So here, take negative 5, plug it back, and then find the corresponding values of y. So for the negative 5, it was 11. Uh, for this other part, negative 4, plug it back in. Uh, this x, you replace it with negative 4. So this will be negative 4 squared into negative 4, and then plus 1. And you get here the value is 5. Do the same for the other values of x, values of y, and the corresponding values of y. You find this is the table that you generate. You plot uh, that curve, plot that curve. I don't know if I zoom out if it will be clear enough. You plot that curve, you plot that curve, you find that. Uh, to generate uh, such a curve. curve again so these curves don't join the don't join the using a ruler using a straight line join the point using uh, a continuous smooth curve that is for such an equation for linear equations you can use a straight line equations are equations of a straight line so plot that curve you get such. Let me get up that point. I hope you have to get that. Okay. Yeah. Now we are told to solve. We are told to solve those equations. So the way to do it again, that's how we have done it here. That's how we have done it here. To replace with what you have here uh, for the equation, which has y, for this, which has y, this is plus 3x, plus 3x, and then here we have plus 1, we have plus 1, to solve this, this. So for you to solve uh, these equations, let's start with the first one. Let's start with A. Let's start with A. So how you do it? Uh, this is then, I say, just uh, rearrange this. The left hand side, this one, to go to the right hand side. They are basically the same thing. It's just the same thing. So here we have... Let me remove that side first. You have 10 x squared uh, plus 3x that's one again we are doing for part a we are trying to solve this part a so here we have the this side this x squared plus 3x uh, plus one, or rather, this left hand side of 
about equations, to make the left turns to be a zero, uh, what, uh, what operation are we supposed to do? Or rather, what to, uh, to take or to put here so that this left hand side becomes a zero? In this way, evaluate a zero, we must subtract uh, the second equation from the first equation. Must subtract the first equation from uh, the second equation from the first equation. Either way, to give you the correct answer, or if you choose to do it the other way, find that y minus 10, that is what we have on our left hand side. That's what we have on our left hand side here, y minus 10. Is what you have there, side x minus x will give you a zero, 3x minus 3x, uh, sorry, here we have 3x is a positive 3x, minus, minus a positive 3x, a positive and a negative gives you a negative, x minus 3x will also give you a zero, then you have one minus plus one will also give you a zero. So this right hand side will give you a zero. What is this value of y? We take this negative 10 to the other side. A positive value of y will be 10. We have our y as 10. So from there, you plot this y is equal to the graph. You plot that line y is equal to 10 on your graph. Basically, this, this is a straight line. The reason you're saying that is a straight line is because uh, the value of x there is missing. The value of x there is missing. I, I, how I try to explain this uh, to my, my classes, for those in 1A3, how I do this is I ask my class, I ask my class, how, how else can you write uh, such? How else can you write such? You'll find that return can also be written as y is equal to uh, 0, then you have plus 10, plus 10. I hope this will not confuse you. I'm just trying to explain why this y is equal to 10 is a straight line. So it's here, this can also be written in this form can also be written in this form because here you find that this is an equation of a straight line this is an equation of a straight line x we have m as zero and here we have the c as our y intercept and these are the same and the reason why these two uh, the reason why these two are the same and the reason uh, i'm saying the equation of a straight line you find that when you multiply zero by any number, by any value, it will result to a zero. So there's no need of having that zero there because zero plus 10 will give you, this zero plus 10 it will give you a 10. So there's no reason of having uh, that there. Uh, why I'm saying this is an equation of a straight line. Zero times any value, it gives you a zero, and zero plus 10. So this and this, we are same. So let me do away with this. I uh, will remain with y. This line, y is equal to 10. You plot on your graph, and it is that line. y is equal to 10. Because we have said the x axis is the line y is equal to 0. So the line y is equal to 10 is the line here. equal to 10. So from there, to solve, uh, solve that, that is how you do it. So, and then from there, you plot this line y is equal to 10. And then from there, uh, you find the, value, the values of x, it's where this line, it's where this line intersects the curve y is equal to uh, x squared plus 3x plus 10. Those are the solutions to question. So here you find that the solutions to that question is the x point here, the point where 
at that point, uh, you read the x value, you read the x value. So at point one, the one which I highlighted the first time, here, x value of that is five, and this other part, x value of that is, uh, I think it is two. I think it's supposed to be two. Do that. So the solution to that, we're told to solve that. You say that say that x is equal to negative five, and x is equal to negative five and x is two. So from there, we can move to the second one. Part B. We can move to part B. So part B here. This first one, it will turn is what will change. I just take this zero to the left hand side. And this other part, I take it to the right hand side. Let me do away with the sign first. This will give us a zero equal to x squared. Zero is equal to x squared plus x part changes to a negative. Four. We are looking at part B. So from there, so from there, we have a subtraction. We can do subtraction. We can do subtraction to this point, this part. We can do away with the x squared. X squared the x squared so we will subtract we will subtract the second equation from the last uh, from the second from the first equation so x y minus zero it will give you y squared minus x squared it will give you a zero then you have three x uh, minus three x will give you a zero one of the things that the change is the equation here to interchange to interchange the the signs back equal the same ni kama kusema ni kama kusema uko na uh, y 8 ukisema y is equal to 8 no say 8 is equal to y this is inamaanisha kitu the same this two Okay, my pure y is equal to eight. One be write this in, in another form. Write that in another form. Write this y is equal to eight in another form. Okay, and equal to eight y. So that is the reason the signs are not changing. We're just interchanging the signs, but is a sign as, as it about in Lika. That is in this case. Because star. Okay, so okay, let's let's uh let's let's interchange the signs. Let's interchange the signs in the values. Have these values. So here is zero, it's positive. It will be a negative, but we don't have negative zero. Kwa hivyo zero, it will remain a zero. Zero positive or negative. The same. Zero there. Then, Chapanza, let's do away with that. Then X, when we bring X to this other side, we bring X to that other side. Chapua, negative X. It will be a negative X. He bring X, it will change to negative three. And this four we change it to positive four. Where, where, where is that question? You want to know, Lisa? I think that is what you're asking. Since the signs have been interchanged, then we want you to do away. Let's do away. X. Let's do away with these values of x. This values of x. So x here we will introduce a positive positive there we add second value uh, with the first value that is to do away with this so here 
x squared plus minus x squared is a two here as zero. And well, we start with this side y plus zero, it's the same as y, the same as y. And then we have uh, a x, oh, sorry, x squared plus minus x squared, that is also a zero, plus minus 3x, that's also a zero. One plus four to give you five. One plus four to give you five. Y value, our y value will be, our y value here will be a positive five. Even if we did it, we did it the other way, then you call it the Riku Kufanya, we still have been five. Let me copy this and then. Yeah. If we did it the same way I was doing it before, we require you as a minus. You find that the answer will be because here y minus zero you have, then you have an equal sign x squared minus x squared is a zero, minus three x is a zero, and then you have positive 1 minus 4, so that is 1 plus 4 will give you 5. So either way, it will give you the same answer. If you choose to reverse the signs, or if you choose to work with it, it will give you the same answer. Again, y equal to 5, in another form, it is the same as saying 5 is equal to, 5 is equal to y. And I believe what programming you want to find something like this, something like this. Story in variables. Story in variables. You do it with. So that's just it. You plot this line y is equal to five on your graph. You plot that y is equal to and that that y equal to five is that line there. Y is equal to 5 it is that line. The points where this line cuts the curve this values of that point so that will be negative 4 for the point and 1 for the second point That equation that will be a special x is negative four positive one. You can try looking at the last one. We can end there maybe in these two minutes. Now, John and Hira, your answer I mean what you are asking for, or uh, what you are what you are asking, it is what you are asking. So this last part. The first equation remains it is, but the second one will change. We have about zero plus plus two x. Here we have minus two. The way it is, that is that. And then the second one, it is this point. Question C is this question C. X squared plus two x minus two is equal to zero. And in order to do away with this x, x squared part, basically that is uh, that is what uh, we try as much as possible to do away with. So here we have y minus zero, we have y minus x squared, we have zero minus two x, x and one that is one plus two we have. That. Mali mini bana swali. Uli uh, zero iki kujia yeah. isi dingine. Kuwa negative. Lakini juu akuna negative zero. Uh, okay. Iko pali nisha yandika negative zero. I believe akuna. Sindiyo. Ojua ni negative zero pali popote. 
hii equation ya kwanza ya is equals to 10 si 10 ingekuja hii side nyingine ikuwe 0 because kuna negative 10 kuna negative there is negative 10 okay tunaweza fanya venye una tunaweza fanya bila unasema it is okay wacha nitarudia hiyo point you will see the ss the essence of uh, what i'm talking about your point wacha nimaliza nena hii before uh, because i see the, the time is up uh, let me finish up with this we find that uh, y is equal to x plus 3 uh, in line here uh, when you find uh, such an equation generate table here and y you find the x and y values uh, that uh, table well, look for some values of x and then find the corresponding values of some values of x and then find the corresponding values of y when you do that now hiram and john you are you had asked on your on the comments uh, this is how i believe this is what you are asking but uh, this y is not equal to in a part of a unknown and a number so when you plot that graph you find that uh this line here this vertical line here uh, of that equation y is equal to x plus 3 equal to x plus 3 so ata kwa dimension that we are the nodes for those uh, for those who don't have points where this line y is equal to x plus 3 uh, that curve that's the original curve you read the, you read the x value so here will be about 2.7 because they just pick a 3 we read the x values of that view the solution to the solution equation and for what I need to do when you can know Lisa this question uh you got to say that this value is what are two by the which a value the value of y equal negative ah uh, this the value is zero e zero equal negative let's work it uh, when this y value uh, when this zero value is a negative is e cure hapa e zero e cure hapa uh, we are saying let's just say let's just say that this zero is a positive so if we can say the ingine is related to a negative is related to a negative and that is that to do away with this x squared in order to do away with this x squared we can add we can add two sides let's sum these two sides let's sum these two sides and here you'll find that y plus minus zero y plus minus zero it is the same as saying y minus zero y minus zero is y and then inside the you remember uh, the quark plus minus x, that is a zero, plus minus three x, that is also a zero, and then one plus four will be, it will be a five. Either you choose to work with P zero upper, P zero upper, if you are negative, uh, it will just give you the same answer. Again, Hakuna palisha yandika minus zero. That uh, on a graph, on a graph, why graph hakuna minus zero? This is just a, a zero. If it were negative or positive, it is just a zero. So that is uh, the reason why I'm saying minus zero. For me, it really doesn't make sense. Okay. Kama ukaelewa, kama, if this is easier for you, uh, making this zero to be a negative, it's okay. If it will be easier for you, that zero a negative is quite okay. The answer will give you the same. For those who choose to work it as a negative or a positive, the answer will be the same. So with that, is there any question? You can just uh, leave. The time is up, so if there is no other question, can call it a day notes uh, up to that point you have 
Bless you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Jambo. Ah, uh, what's the last one?